Public Health. In this video, I will show you the history menu of the patient app. When you have selected a patient, you see the number of visits at the bottom of the page. If you tap it, you go to the patient history. You can flip through the patient's visits with the buttons on the top right. Using previous and next, you can flip through each individual visit. For each session, there are two views and two tabs, the grid and the graph. The grid shows you the differentiated measurement for rest, MVC and endurance. Next to the measurement type, there's the time of the start of the measurement and the stepper. If you have performed multiple measurements of the same type in one visit, you can switch between them using this, this stepper. Individual MVC and endurance contraction can also be assessed by flipping through them using the arrows for left and right. Below the grid of each type, details are displayed. For rest, this is location, duration and average. For MVC and endurance, this is location, number of contractions, active and rest time, average and peak EMG, and on and offset. Also, you can switch between absolute and reference comparison mode by clicking the switch button next to each grid. The stimulation is data is shown on the bottom of the page. You see the stimulation preset name, the duration, current, location, configuration, phase duration, and pulse frequency. Also, multiple stimulation sessions per visit can be saved. Notes can be added to the history screen per treatment day. Tap in the notes, se notes section, a keyboard will appear and you can type your notes. If you go to the graph tab, it shows you the graph of the average EMG for every saved measurement. The blue color highlights the measurement type shown in the graph. Using the arrow buttons below the graph, you can scroll through the graph. The stepper near both axes allows you to decrease or increase the scale. If there are two or more measurements of the same type saved during the same session, you can go through them using the stepper next to the measurement type. 